Well, sure, we're electing a president, but the person with the real power in the next administration may be the Treasury Secretary. He or she will oversee the banking bailout, the credit crisis, the market meltdown, you name it. So who might the 44th president turn to? Well, we turn to Peter Schiff, president and CEO of Euro Pacific Capital and author of two books on savvy investing. We also welcome Tim Hansen, senior analyst with The Motley Fool. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? All right, well, let's get down to it. Treasury Secretary. I mean, when was the last time uh, we really talked a lot about a Treasury Secretary? Probably goes back to the Great Depression, Herbert Hoover, right, Peter? Well, probably, you know, but back then, Hoover, of course, didn't listen to his Secretary of the That's Treasury. That's true. Was he Andrew said to Mellon, Mellon, forget about it, right? Well, but Mellon is the one that was the sense of reason. He wanted the government to stay out of it and let the free market work, and Hoover wouldn't listen to Mellon, and, of course, they ended up creating the Great Depression together with Roosevelt. But, you know, I don't know, any, no, I can't imagine a Secretary being worse than Paulson. You know, they might as well nominate my six-year-old to be Treasury Secretary. You know, at least, I mean, he, at least he would play with his toys instead of screwing up the economy. Oh, Tim Anson, you've got to have a response there. Oh, I mean, that, that's, those are harsh words. I don't think Hank Paulson's done, a, uh, done, done such a bad job. I mean, he's been put in a very tough spot. Um, I think there's probably going to be a change with the next administration, and, and uh, the Treasury Secretary is going to have a big job to do. You know, he's got a lot of responsibilities. There's a lot of calamity out there right now, and I think the person who does get picked uh, needs to be someone who has uh, credibility both with the financial community and with you know the Main Street community, Wall Street and Main Street, as we've heard so many times in this election. Well, and let's name out, let's name one name, someone that Obama and McCain are both fond of, Warren Buffett. I mean, so many people have mentioned this, especially in the past four weeks. I've heard people everywhere from you know parties in the evening to PR functions to bank meetings. I mean, what do you guys think, Peter? Is yeah, Warren Buffett the guy? No, look, all this is form over substance. What we need is a market-based solution. We, the government can't do anything. Just putting the right person in the head of the secretary, it's like it didn't matter who was you put on the bridge of the Titanic, the ship was going to sink because it was structurally damaged. Our economy is in trouble. We have a phony economy. We have to allow it to collapse so we can rebuild a genuine one. The government is trying to prop up our consumer-based borrow-and-spend economy, and they can't do that. Tim, what do you think? I mean, the, tre the Treasury Secretary has got to have some sort of power and influence uh, to take hold of, of what's happening in our economy. It's, it's an important position. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Peter is overstating the case just a little bit. I, there, there are some real fundamental problems in the economy, but the Treasury Secretary in the next administration, uh, to the extent that he's able to sort of reinvigorate, he or she is able to reinvigorate consumer confidence, you know, I think Warren Buffett is, is, would be a great choice in the sense that he's widely admired across party lines and across the yeah. business community and but, in the mainstream you know, community. What, you know, but the thing is, you know, the, the thing is, um, I don't think he's willing to do it. So but, you it's going to be consumer, a tough choice. Which is true. He's got, well, go ahead. Go ahead, Peter. Consumers don't need confidence. I mean, they're, too, they're overconfident. We need consumers to stop spending. We need them to realize that we need to save their money. Consumers are freaking out, Peter. Come on now. I mean, if you look I mean, at you what you can... You, 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 it's a that's what we need. Look, we've got too much bravado. That's how we got into this mess. People taking their charge cards and buying things they couldn't afford, <laughs> overpaying for houses. We need to dampen consumer spending. We need a dose of reality. All what right. we need well, is no, higher no, no, interest rates. All right, let me, let me throw out, let me just, because I want to get your guys' reaction to these names, because now we're actually starting to hear about certain individuals. Okay, apparently Barack Obama, there's two names that are being thrown out there, Robert Rubin and Lawrence Summers. Okay, Robert Rubin, Director of Citigroup, Treasury Secretary for Bill Clinton, and Lawrence Summers, Treasury Secretary for Bill Clinton, former president of Harvard University. Uh, let's get your response, Tim. I mean, if Obama is elected president, do you think these are two good names? Do you, do you like one better than another or no? Well, you know, I mean, from a, from a qualifications perspective, I think they're both qualified to do the job. I mean, you know, politically, uh, they would be obviously have different viewpoints than someone on the other side. You know, but the point is, just, just to go back to, to Peter's point, you know, the thing about consumers, about investors, is that we constantly go from overconfident to underconfident, back to overconfident. I mean, we're never in the middle. So right now, you know, you're seeing in the market people are, are lacking confidence. We're getting crushed. And so I think, you know, to the extent someone can step in and, and give people a reason to, to believe again, I, mean, I think that is important. Well, Peter, well, could uh, a Robert Rubin or a Lawrence Summers do that if indeed Obama wins and one of these names being tossed no. around? No. The question, the question is which secretary will do the least amount of damage. You know, if this is not a situation where we have nothing to fear but fear itself. There's a lot to be afraid of. This is a phony economy. It's coming to an end. But, you know, there are real solutions. Unfortunately, all the market-based solutions involve a lot of short-term pain, and the politicians refuse to allow that medicine to be applied. And so 
instead they're they're making the patient sicker and it's going to be a lot more painful. All right, let me, me get let me let me get you back in the hospital room for a minute. Okay, let's talk about John McCain. Two names. I just want to get you know for for fa sake of balance here, uh, John McCain. Uh, two uh, current or former CEOs being thrown out there. Meg Whitman, uh, of course, uh, you know Queen of eBay, and Carly uh, Fiorina Hewlett Packard. Uh, what do you what's your guys' reaction if indeed McCain wow. wins? Could one of these women wow. be a player? I don't know. McCain's got about as much chance of winning as I do. Um, and so, you know, I don't think his, it's going to matter. And of course, again, it doesn't matter who they appoint. They can't make the situation better. We've got to pay the piper here. We need a Secretary of the Treasury who understands the real problem and is willing to let the market work. And unfortunately, nobody like that is under consideration from anybody. Well, Tim, what do you think uh, of you know, Carly Fiorina and Meg Whitman? That. And the reason I agree with that is that, you know, the great financial minds of the past 10 to 15 years have all been tarred and feathered recently for good reason. And, you know, I agree with Peter's point that there's going to be a lot of short-term pain and we're going to need to get through it. Uh, but people need to remember, you know, when you're elected president, the president's only going to be around for eight years. And when it comes to our economy and to investing, I think you should be thinking in terms of, of decades. So there's going to be some short-term pain. We're going to have to deal with that. But, you know, I would favor a choice, you know, like a Buffett, not that that is, it may be possible or not, but someone who's going to actually uh, inspire some confidence again, because I think that's important uh, to get people investing in the economy and in their businesses. And, and that's ultimately what's going to get us out of this. Tim Hansen, Peter Schiff. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Well, they've signed up to vote now.